I know you've heard stories about me. That I'm a liar. A manipulator. <laughs> that I poison people's minds. Well, let me tell you a different story. A true story. once was a young woman who had been ostracized by her community, bullied by friends, abused by her family. She took to a needle for help. She was all alone. She wanted to die. And then she met the father. <laughs> he gave her hope and confidence. The father showed her how special she was. She was full of love and life. He gave her a new family, one that accepted her just as she was. The young woman no longer wished to die. She had been given. One day, the father brought her here. He asked if she had faith in him. He asked if she would be willing to die for him. The young woman who very much wished to live was scared. The father told her this was her test. She would have faith in her if she had faith in him. So she closed her eyes and left. <laughs> the father kept his word. The path to Eden is clear to those who have faith. Walk the path. You must have faith. Let go. I will give you purpose. I will set you free. Do you feel different? Do you feel alive? The first step is always the scariest. Virgil Minkler speaking. Anyone looking for refuge, come to the Hope County Jail. We have beds and food here. We all have faith in you. Follow the pilgrimage. Walk the path. I'll see you soon.
shit. Gun's jammed. Rook? I need more ammo. You really saved our bacon. They've been throwing themselves at these walls for days. Just won't let up. Harry kicked open a hornet's nest. Drugs on the road! Damn it! Mallory! Rook, I need you up on that wall.
people! Rogers, there's an Arkweller somewhere inside. Footy was using it last. Get on it. Well, you're with me. Let's start collecting scrap. You have to pull the doors off some of the cells? Do it! Now hop too! We ain't got much time! No problems? No. A couple of the Peggy scaled the wall, but we got them. Door. That doesn't look too bad. You'll be all right. Just keep pressure on it. You know, I was gonna retire last year. I was worried I'd get bored. Are you gonna introduce us, or we're just gonna stand around here all awkward and shit? Language! Oh, fuck off, Virgil. Not today. I have told you, a vulgar mind is a sign of... You're not wearing your button! No, I'm not wearing it. I'll need a casualty report. We're, we're cougars! We're really not. Look, I'm wearing my button. The sheriff is wearing his button. This person... I'm sorry, who is this? This is one of my deputies. I thought you said your deputies were taken. No, well, this one wasn't. Been giving Eden's Gate a hell of a time from what I hear. That's so. Well, I hope you plan on pitching in. No room for freeloaders. <laughs> oh, Tracy's all right when she gets to know you. She's right about the work, though. There's plenty to be done around here. Just ask around. Good to have you back, Rook. Okay, then. Hey there, bud. Seems like every year some hunting lodge who wound up in my platform. Air bait, and wolf killing, orphan deer. People of Falls End are passionate about critters, that's for sure. Made them ready for this shit. Gonna be honest, never thought I'd see you again. After the crash, I... I just remember fog, and walking in a field. Then I saw her. You've seen her too, haven't you, Rook? Whatever she says, whatever she promises, it's a lie. Stay away from her, you'll end up just like the Marshal. The bliss. It makes you forget. It makes you feel free. You just want to stay there forever. But it isn't real. None of it. If Virgil and Tracy hadn't found me, I'd still be out there, swimming in a sea of bliss. A prisoner in my own head. Those two saved my life. These cougars, they're good people, but they're hanging on by a thread. We gotta help them, Rook. No one else will. One last thing. We had a doctor. Well, a veterinarian, but he's doing his best. Guy went missing a couple hours ago. Don't know why, don't know how. But keep an eye out for him, would you? Hi there, ma'am. Heard you were involved in that big fight. Jail. Beautiful day. Hello, sir. My Last two days, we've had a few people go missing. Only from what we can tell, they weren't lost in the bliss. There's been rumors of some place run by Faith's favorites. The kind of place nobody comes back from. Torture, drownings, sacrifices. People say anyone who doesn't walk Faith's little pilgrimage winds up there. I think we got a real problem on our hands and I need someone to check it out. Someone who can handle themselves if it turns out to be more than just stories. Be careful, Rook. Some decoration, like some cross-stitching type shit.